Welcome to Santorini, Greece. Santorini was the first stop of our epic honeymoon and we are so delighted to show you everything we explored and ate along the way from the beautiful stay in Fira of four nights to our wonderful day trip to Ia and the incredible restaurants we ate at along the way. Please follow along with us if you love eating, exploring and celebrating love. So we traveled from Toronto to Santorini. In this case, in order to do so, we had to have a layover in London. I couldn't believe how exciting it was to actually have this layover. It was only for about an hour or two, but we had some delicious tea. And here we are leaving London for some bluer skies, even though it was quite lovely that day. And we are on our way to Santorini. So we landed in the Santorini airport and from then our hotel was very close by. Washroom, nice and clean. Area, it's, it's okay. I'm, right now, oh, we have our nice little robes. This is our beautiful suite in Greece. I think this will be our nicest room of probably the whole trip because, ta-da! We have our own little pool. We are exhausted, but I think we're going to change into our swimsuits and, and take advantage of the swim right before. What time is it right now? Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Yes, so it's 3 o'clock and we have dinner at 7.30, so I think we can swim for a few hours before. So we had a beautiful room at the Perla Nera Suites in Fira Santorini, and we really took advantage of having a pool on day one when we were very jet-lagged. Hello from Santorini! and our beautiful room. If you might have seen us preview it today, we took full advantage of the pool. <laughs> and now where are we going? <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna go explore Fira. Yes, because we're staying in Fira or Thira as it's known. And gorgeous weather, what more can you ask for? Ta-da! Ta and we're on our honeymoon. And I should also say that we have a gimbal, so our vlogs will hopefully be a little bit more smooth and seamless. I don't know if we can bring it with us every single time we vlog, but we're going to do our best to have better quality vlogs for you all. So stay tuned and follow us on our honeymoon. Our first stop is Greece and it's Santorini. So our hotel was about a 10 minute walk to the main town of Fira, Central Fira, and it was really beautiful. So you'll see a lot of nice walking footage and beautiful sights along the way. <laughs> Going to dinner. So I will show you some incredible restaurants and things. This unfortunately wasn't really one of them. I wasn't that happy with the view from dinner or the service to be honest. So I'm not including that, but it was still a decent enough start to our trip. We luckily finished dinner before sunset, so we got to walk around Fira, find some beautiful lookout points, and truly just take in the beauty of Santorini, Greece. So Fiera, also sometimes known as Thera or Thera, is Santorini's capital and the biggest, busiest, and most cosmopolitan city on the entire island. A fun fact about Fiera is that the island is actually a caldera that was created during a massive volcanic eruption over 3,000 years ago. If you stay here, you're very close to the central airport, both the Kamari and Athenos airport, forgive my pronunciation. You're very close to the beach as well, only 12k from the Red Beach, 13k from Perissa Beach, and it is quite easy to get around, so it is a combination of natural beauty, social life, nightlife, shopping shopping and more. So this is not my first time in Santorini, but this is Nikita's first time. I was here last time with a girls trip with my sisters and Viv. And then I said if I ever had to come back to Santorini, I definitely want to do it on my honeymoon. And here we are. Thank you. It's been years and it's honestly just as beautiful as I remember. Absolutely stunning. We saw a beautiful sunset. We had a little drinks and a little apps, just something very light. And when there's anything good to note, because I think we're having some really good meals tomorrow, I will definitely list them below. I only want to give you good spots. 
What do you think of your first time in, in Greece? In Sicily, she was about to say. <laughs> I know, I was going to say Santorini, but then I said it's even your first time in Greece. It's what gorgeous. I love it. It's uh, stunning. We have a nice place to stay at. Yeah. We're having a good time. We love each other and enjoying every moment. Aww. So we have this really good gelato from this place called Asolo Gelato. It's honestly really good. It tastes like Italy. So if you want a gelato in Greece, highly recommend. So after a little bit of sightseeing and sunset watching, as you saw, we were back to our hotel. This was just such a beautiful and relaxing atmosphere. This is clearly the nicest hotel of our trip that you will see, but it was a really nice first stop. And look, we were visited by this little cat. This cat ended up visiting us again on our trip. One of the next days, as soon as we came in, he was there waiting for us. This little kitten, we thought it was hungry, so we gave it a bunch of food, but it was really thirsty. Lounging, getting warm before we do a little dip in. Must be nice, this is the way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have wonderful breakfast. I'm so excited. Orange juice, coffees. Mmm, can't wait. How is it, Boo? Mm. Tasty? Mm. Very. Mm. So fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited for the yogurt, the nice Greek yogurt, too. Mm. Look who we have here. <laughs> <laughs> so we took the taxi from Fiera to Ia Santorini. And I will mention this, how expensive taxis are. They are very expensive, so you'll pay anywhere from 30 to 50 euros. But it's honestly the fault of the gas prices. The gas was about 2.1 euros a liter. But anyway, we had an incredible day, so it was worth it. Greetings from Ia today. We are here to spend the lovely day exploring Ia. Then we have a delicious dinner, lunch dinner, at the, what is it called? Yes, some sort of a moody fish tavern. Yes can't remember precisely so but we'll let you know when we are there and yeah we're just really happy to explore Ia because our home base is in Fira which is very central lots of things to do it's like a main hub but Ia is a more romantic spot so we're gonna get some nice photos and take you with us and here we are one of the most famous views in Ia Santorini so we're so excited we took a few Beautiful. pictures hopefully nice right now is not the best photo time because the sun is just like blazing down and it's so hot but it's beautiful here so yeah we're really happy what do you think I love it stunning right beautiful really beautiful. hot yes Ia is perched above the caldera, so it has gorgeous views. It is famous for its whitewashed buildings, beautiful blue domes, and intricate alleyways, I would say. It is stunning and definitely one of the more romantic islands in Greece. around Ia. And we're sweating. <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> After all of our exploring and sightseeing, we are headed to the most, one of the most incredible dining experiences we've ever had, which you'll see very shortly. And this restaurant was called Armini Restaurant. And in order to get there, we had to walk down a ton of steps. See how high I am up here? Basically, I had to walk all the way down to the shore. So the shore right here, it is called Amudi Bay. And yes, you can technically take donkeys down, but I refused to do so. It was just horrible to see the donkeys on the side. That is one thing I just was not happy about, but oh my gosh, this restaurant provides you a free water taxi in order to get here. So from Amudi Bay, in Ia. They bring you all the way to their restaurant and it was just incredible. This taxi ride was probably about, I don't know, five to eight minutes long and along the way you get to see some of the beautiful sights. It was so much fun and nothing can compare to the incredible views of the restaurant. We sat seaside as you can see and we truly had the most incredible meal. And if you look closely, you can actually see the little fishing boat pulling away. They bring fresh fish daily 
Wrigley and here the waiter explains to you the catch of the day. He shows you everything that they caught fresh. He did the same for us but we didn't film him at the time so I took the advantage and filmed another couple there. And oh my gosh, this meal. I wanted you to hear a little bit of the natural sounds. Here's what we had, delicious scallops tzatziki we had the santorini salad which is cherry tomatoes we had these incredible prawns it was shrimp saganaki in this incredible tomato and feta sauce and for our main we chose the sea bream i believe i've had sea bass many times but i don't think i've ever had sea bream and i would think it's even more delicious so here you can see the waiter plating it up removing all the bones it was incredible <laughs> Our meal from start to finish was so memorable. The staff are so sweet, so nice, and you can tell they truly love what they do. Nikita was really in heaven. I know you're in your element. Tell me how you're feeling. Let's see what you're eating. Wow. This bread with this view. I'm about to have a bite of sea brim. That's it. And pita. Look at this. Yum, and we just had the catch of the day. Sea Freshly green. caught, just down the street. <laughs> just for us. They were so kind and even offered us complimentary dessert, which I can't believe I forgot to film, but I did take a bunch of photos and videos on Instagram, so follow me there. So just basically, we highly recommend that restaurant, Armini Fish Tavern. The Delish. best meal, and the I feel best. like that it's just going to be the best meal of Santorini, so why bother with yes. anything else? It was truly spectacular. Highly recommended. The stairs getting down, do not recommend. I believe you can just take a taxi down to this port, and then you could take the boat. We took the stairs, crazy. But now we are walking up the same way that the taxis bring you, and it's so much easier than those stairs. Take a look at that. Can they see the view? Hmm. Okay. And we're looking at this beautiful coastal view. Say hi. So incredible, incredible meal. We're just going to walk up and hopefully watch the sunset somewhere. We'll see. So for many of the incredible restaurants we experienced in Greece, even this one to watch the sunset, I did make reservations ahead of time. It was very easy to do all online, so I highly recommend doing so. This was another delicious spot for just drinks and to watch a sunset view. This restaurant was part of the Adronis Arcadia Hotel, so it was slightly pretentious, but still gorgeous nonetheless. Calimera. We are having our breakfast again. So delicious. We have our orange juices, our coffees, espresso and regular, scrambled eggs. We even have some other hard-boiled eggs today. Greek yogurt with nuts, delicious. Fruits, delicious. Love this meal here, the poached eggs and all the meats. The feta cheese is so delicious. This is our second time having the breakfast and looks just as good as yesterday. Good morning everyone! Today we are on our way to Nikki Beach. So we just had a delicious breakfast. As you can see again, the breakfast is so good. I'm not even hungry sometimes when I wake up and then it's there. So you just eat everything. It's super delicious. And yeah, we're really excited to go to this beach club because we have like a little cabana area. Well, not cabana, like day beds by the beach basically that we booked ahead of time, Nikki Beach. The only thing about Santorini is that everything is so expensive, especially cab rides. Oh my gosh, like to get from Fira to Oia is about 35 to 50 euros. And then to get to the beach club, I'm assuming it will be similar. I'm hoping more on the 35 euro line but wow is everything's not too far but it's super super expensive however we are loving our time in greece it's incredible we had a beautiful day yesterday just everything from start to finish was incredible so we're really excited to take you along and hopefully you've been enjoying the footage today at the beach club i will be bringing this but i don't know how much i'm filming we don't have the gimbal so as you can see it's a little more shaky but i really like our gimbal stabilizer i hope you think that the footage is coming out good this is our first time using it we got it specifically for our honeymoon trip so we can have some nice vlog footage so hopefully you enjoyed that as well and yeah so we have our swimsuits on and we're ready to go 
And to be honest, we've just been enjoying our pool right after we eat. We dip in the pool, our legs at first, and then just submerge ourselves. And I was just swimming all morning as well. So it's just a beach day today and it's super, super hot today. So it feels really good to go to the beach. We have arrived. We requested an area right front row in front of the water, so it's super nice. And we have access to the pool area, anything we'd like. But I really wanted to come to the beach so we can hopefully swim in the beautiful waters. But I'll show you what we're looking at. So Nikki Beach is located very close to Kamari Beach. However, this is basically the beachfront setting of Monolithos Black Sandy Beach, which allows you to enjoy the crystal clear waters on the southeast coastline of Santorini. The water was very calm due to its location and you are technically located on the world famous stunning volcanic island which is why there is the black sand which is super cool. We were still able to get into the water from the dock area but if you can I highly recommend water shoes. It would just make walking on that black sandy beach a little bit more comfortable and this beach club did eventually play music which was just a really nice and relaxing vibe. Of course, if you choose to do so, you also have access to the pool area as well. Beautiful. Our lovely view out the window. Hello! We had our beautiful beach day. As you saw, it was a really nice experience. Just to let you know, the beds cost about 35 euros a person. Very expensive. Taxis in Santorini are quite expensive too. Just to get there is about 30 euros. <laughs> We're spending all kinds of money here, but you only live once, one in Rome. So in this case, one in Santorini. But we had a really nice day and it was so hot today. It was, I think, above 30 degrees. So it was the perfect beach day completely. It's okay, Nikita's showing me the gimbal, but I'm saying we don't need it today, it's okay. Yeah, because I don't, see myself walking and vlogging a lot that's why I wanted to vlog now really quickly and just let you guys know what we're up to so we're going to a lovely restaurant I really want to have some more Greek cuisine so I really want to actually eat a Greek salad because the feta here is so good so we're just doing a nice Greek meal today and tomorrow we have a really fun day planned as well so tonight after the beach we're just going basically into a fira and we're going to have a nice restaurant hopefully a nice view as well you never know <laughs> You look so nice. You too. And Nikita is quite tan. Can you see? I'm a little red. Or should I say burnt? <laughs> okay, let's go. So we made it. And look at the view. Not bad. <laughs> I'm facing what's going to be the sunset. You're facing the beautiful Fira town. And you can't go wrong with this view. We're at this restaurant called Aris, and we're really excited. I can't wait to finally have a Greek salad. I think that's what we're going to start with. And then our main, so I'm just really excited to eat a nice Greek meal and just continue the honeymoon celebrations. So yeah, I'll let you know how it is at the end of the meal. <laughs> Guess where's my drink and where's Lisa's drink? <laughs> This restaurant in Fira was so lovely. The views are truly spectacular. You really have an incredible panorama. And I ate something so delicious. This feta wrapped in phyllo dough topped with honey and sesame seeds was honestly one of the best things. I kept mentioning that I wanted feta. Well, I had it two ways and it was great. I love the way they do the feta there, just like slabs of it. And the feta is so delicious. So inside we have this feta in a phyllo crust oh my gosh look how good this looks with honey and sesame mm. delicious let's try mm. oh, i love the honey here too mm. oh my god you'll love it <laughs> <laughs> So we already had an incredible start to our meal. As you saw, Nikita and I really love that feta. It was truly a highlight and there is nothing like Greek feta. It is so creamy and it melts in your mouth. It really doesn't compare as well to the feta that we have here in Canada. But look at the incredible view. The sun set a little bit early this night, but it was so magical and wonderful. So I do highly recommend this restaurant. 
Delicious. I have a delicious moussaka. Mmm. And you have your lamb chops. Something you don't want me to eat. <laughs> Something I, I won't be touching is the lamb, but I'll steal a potato. <laughs> they work hard. So delicious. Right? Yes. <laughs> and the view really was not bad either. <laughs> Give them a shot. <laughs> I tried to get a good shot. <laughs> it was horrible. How is it? <laughs> Delicious. We had some complimentary alcohol to end the meal, and the staff was so wonderful and sweet there. So I do recommend that Aris a restaurant. Lovely vibes, lovely people, delicious food. We walked around Fiera at nighttime. There's many steps in Santorini. If you don't already know, I'm sure you are familiar, but it is famous for a lot of steps. So definitely wear comfortable walking shoes to explore. Good morning, another breakfast. I'm not going to show you the breakfast again because I'm sure you've seen it enough already, but we can't get enough of it. I just wanted to change into my swimsuit now so we can have a little dip and Nikita has beat me to it. So we have a beautiful day planned and I'm sure I'll tell you more about it later. But we're just loving this relaxing life so far. It's so nice. <laughs> He doesn't know I'm filming him. So Santorini can be quite expensive. If you'd like to save some money, get some delicious street food. This was Lucky Souvlaki and we highly recommend it, especially Nikita. Okay. <laughs> That's where we were. Mm. My kind of food. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Looks so yummy. Gotta take a bite of it. So here. finally we're having a souvlaki, yum. Okay, I will bite it. And Even though we were quite full from breakfast and the street food that we had, I really wanted to try some baklava. So I googled best baklava in Pira and this Svronos bakery came up. So I bought a bunch, even an orange cake to take home and taste before an exciting part of our trip. We brought back some baklava and this delicious orange cake to try by the pool right before we leave. Kalispera, today we are going on a cruise, a catamaran cruise. We have half an hour before we get picked up by the shuttle. So we stopped into town and I had to try some baklava from a bakery. Of course, I have inserted the name so you would have saw us there. And I'm so excited. So let's have a quick little taste before we head off for the cruise. I tried the orange cake so far and it is divine. It's like soaked in syrup. Mm. And we were swimming all day this morning, so we just went into town very quickly today. You saw us have our delicious pita souvlaki or gyro, as we say. Nikita got a chicken gyro and it was delicious. Very, very good. So here we are on our semi-private premium catamaran cruise with a barbecue on board and drinks. This was such a nice experience. I believe the prices were ranging from 180 Canadian per person. They had two options, a daytime cruise and a sunset cruise. So we chose the sunset one and they picked us up directly from our hotel at around 3 p.m. I believe. And it was a little short ride to the bay where we set sail and it was wonderful. Wonderful. They offered you a lot of fun things. So of course they provided towels for you as well because there were a few swimming stops. We got to see the red beach, the white beach, the Mesa Piagada beach, sorry for my pronunciation, the lighthouse and a few other things such as a swimming session in the sulfurous waters. That was sort of like a natural spa experience. There was also the opportunity to do some snorkeling and that is what Nikita really enjoyed as well. It was really lovely and we had a wonderful barbecue buffet that they cooked for us on board. I highly recommend this experience. It was so nice, so relaxing and just a perfect way to see some sights but still be quite Quite lazy as you're just relaxing on board the catamaran cruise the best part was just seeing the gorgeous sunset from the water it was honestly incredible really breathtaking and the perfect end to our last day in Greece oh my goodness but it was so beautiful so I highly recommend it and anything that I do recommend in this vlog I will link in the description box down below
our last breakfast today by the pool. Nikita is sitting in the shade for the first time because he got a lot of sun. <laughs> My poor sweetie. <laughs> well, we should be happy. And the beautiful pool. We took a little dip last night. And no more. But no more, I think. I think we're done with dips. And let's enjoy our beautiful last breakfast. I've been loving to put honey on our Greek yogurts like this. Mmm, delicious! We are going to miss these breakfasts and our little private pool the most, that is for sure. Santorini, you've been lovely. Hi! Kalimera! It's our last day in Santorini. Look what I have. Nikita brought this and I would make fun of him that he looks like so touristy, but it's actually really now, nice. Now she's using it. <laughs> I'm using it because it's so hot here. I even threw my hair up. But it's our last day. We had about an hour, so we came into town really quickly. It's only like a 10 minute walk from our Airbnb. So we just came into Fiera town. I think you want another souvlaki? Yeah. And that's it. We really love exploring churches when traveling and this was no exception. This was the Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral in Fira and it was really beautiful. Nikita is actually raised a Russian Orthodox so this church was pretty meaningful for him as well. As a Catholic person myself, I truly did enjoy this. It was stunning and it is always a nice idea to hop into a church and just be thankful for all the beauty that you get to see along the way. Especially for us, we really feel like our honeymoon was truly special and fantastic and it's hard to believe that this was only the first stop of a few wonderful sights. Today Nikita was the first customer at Lucky, Lucky Souvlaki because they open at 11 and we're here at 11. Enjoy! I honestly I can't. Bite. I can't. Bite. Later, later. Liar. Enjoy. How is it? Mm. This mm -hmm. is the chicken mm -hmm. souvlaki. Yesterday you had the chicken gyro. How is it? Mm -hmm. Delish? Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. I'll have a bite just to just to say I tried it. Mm -hmm. But you I'm have so to. full. So we were lucky, Suvlaki. They're honestly so nice there. Very sweet people. And we're in the shade eating. We're kind of early because we are leaving today on a plane. <laughs> If you're here in Santorini, come to this supermarket. The guy who works inside is just so nice. Right across from this Cleopatra's Inc. Right as you're heading into town. This huge water, 80 euro cents. <laughs> 80 cents. We are leaving today, as you already know, I'm sure, but we are not finished our honeymoon yet. Next stop is Sicily. So we are going into Taormina, just like the White Lotus. And I haven't been there in honestly like nine years. So I'm very excited to go back. It will be Nikita's first time in the south of Italy. So follow along so you don't miss that. I'm so excited. And yeah, we just had a beautiful honeymoon in Greece and Santorini really. And I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> what else is there to say? We had a lovely time. It was the beautiful first stop of our honeymoon, but this is just I would say a quarter to a third of the way through, so we still have a lot more to go. So let's go! Thank you so much for joining us in Santorini, Greece. The next stop is Italia, and our first stop there is going to be Sicilia, particularly Taormina. So join us as we explore the motherland for myself. Stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching!